Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this 3D stroke animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple techniques and with cool effects. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, as always we will create new composition, we will name it as main animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 seconds, background color is what we call, let's say choose white color, hit ok, and hit ok, choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action, now I'll choose my ellipse tool, Stroke I will choose 50, the color I will choose over here is blue and we will create one ellipse like this, hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center, now go to the align tab, align it horizontally, align it vertically just like this, select this shape layer, add trim path, go to the trim path, initially I will make it 0, create one keyframe at the end and one keyframe at the start. Go around 1 second, let's make it 100 and this one also 100, just like this. Now select the start keyframes and simply move them 2 frames forwards. So you'll get this kind of animation. Now select those keyframes and hit F9. If you want to increase the distance, you are free to do that. Now after that, go to the ellipse one, go to the stroke one. Instead of butt cap, I'll choose round cap, so we'll get this, just like this. Now hit Ctrl D 5 times, as we can see we are getting 5 copies over here. I'll move this 2 frame forwards, each and every one, this one should be over here, just like this. Now after that, at this time what we'll do select all of them in the search bar i'll type stroke width and create keyframe on each and every stroke width now hit u as we can see we have keyframe for every stroke width instead of this so i'll type stroke width over here hit u just like this now our bottom layer should be 50 stroke for this one I'll choose 40, this one I'll choose 30, this one I'll choose 10, uh, 20 and this one I'll choose 10. As we can see we are getting this kind of stuff but this is not look 3D looking so for that what we'll do we'll create one adjustment layer. Initially we will apply a blur effect on it. You can choose any blur, I'll choose Gaussian blur. I'll make it 30 initially, later we will increase the blurriness then add simple choker effect on it type sim sorry decrease the simple choker around like let's say 20 maybe increase the blurriness just like this now select all of them hit u select those stroke keyframes stroke width and increase the stroke width like this go to the effect and presets panel you can increase the simple choker so we will get this kind of blending over here let's make it complete 60 and let's see what we will get increase the blurriness again again we will select all of them and increase the stroke width like this yep this looks good to me now if i hit play you'll get this kind of animations select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as 3d not 3d but only stroke just like this as we can see we are not getting any 3d vibe over here so for that what we'll do we will hit ctrl d hit enter and let's call this comp as a mask 
now select the stroke hit ctrl d hit enter we will call it as light now simply go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it we will hide this mask for now as we can see we have red color over here but we don't need red i'll choose this blue color Let's choose some neon blue like this now we will choose alpha mask and with the page up and down button we will move this stroke something over here i'll adjust it now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will type blur over here and apply gaussian blur i'll increase the blurriness something around this move this now this blurring is so good. Now select both of them, hit Ctrl D. We have this light too. I'll drag it down. And instead of that, you are free to choose any color. Like if you want to choose purple, you are free. Which I don't think green looks good. Either you are choosing some dark blue color or purple, but I think purple is giving some nice vibes, so I'll choose purple adjust it according to you and if we play now we are getting this kind of 3d strokes now if i press ctrl y to create background layer with black color and hit ok let's see how does it looks it looks pretty good actually now our stroke is ready select all the stroke press ctrl shift c i'll call it as 3d sorry 3d stroke and if you want to increase the size of this simply go to the any stroke select all of them hit u select this stroke words and just increase the sizes go to the main animation as we can see we'll get this kind of stuff now we will go over here hit ctrl d press s unlink this option and make it minus 100 hit w and to rotate it we can adjust the rotation we do some adjustment around it hit ctrl d move this over here press s unlink this decrease the scaling move it over here hit w R for rotation Select this one, hit Ctrl D, I'll move it over here, W. Increase the size. Drag it down. Let's see how does it looks. Yeah, looks like good to me. Hit Ctrl D. Move this over here, hit Ctrl D. R for rotation, adjust it, W, we will like. Hit page down button two times and adjust them. And if you want a white background, you can choose that also. So, yep, this is our final animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.